morning welcome to the start of another weekly vlog it's wednesday again i hope you're all doing well i hope you're having a good week i hope you're feeling nice and cheery because spring feels definitely on its way now which is such a great feeling the fact that it's um lighter later in the evening is just magical i'm off to an event this morning well it's kind of like an all-day event and i thought i would vlog it because it's a kind of activity that i've heard about and I just thought it was such a fantastic idea whether you go with friends or go with your mum or by yourself like a solo date I just think it's such a nice idea so I'm going to a sip and sew event and it's to celebrate the launch of a new film called Mother's Instinct which stars Anne Hathaway who's the other actress is it Anne, Anne Hathaway and Jessica Chastain that's it and it's a film set in the 60s and so for this event we're going to be making from scratch our own 60s style skirt which is just the most fun idea for an event i love how brands at the moment are starting to get a little bit more experimental and fun with the events that they're putting on for i don't know influencers and press like that pepsi event a couple of weeks back yeah brands are like stepping it up now it's very exciting it feels like the good old days of blogging again so yeah it's a psychological thriller I'm definitely going to go and see it at the cinema and we're going to be making a 60s style skirt over a glass of bubbly. So they do like sip and sew events all over London and all over the UK. I've just googled it and there's so many around but I just thought it'd be a really fun thing to do. Learn a new skill, have a glass of bubbly with a friend. I think I've sewed once. It might have been at sixth form. I remember really hating it because something about a bobbin. <laughs> If any of you are sewers you'll know that it can be quite fiddly and there's a bobbin involved and I couldn't get my thread around the bobbin or something like that I just remember having a really hard time with it so I'm apprehensive about today and if if I'll be able to make a skirt from scratch but I've chosen a really cool fabric which I'll show you and yeah we can we can sew together yeah I would absolutely love to learn how to sew because it's just a skill that would save me so much money in terms of taking all my trousers up like i have a pile upstairs of clothes that i need to take to the tailors to get taken up to my length to fit me and if i could just learn to do that myself oh my god i would save so much money um but obviously then it's the cost of the sewing machine that i'd have to factor in but i'm pretty sure my mum has one already somewhere so to celebrate the kind of crafty event i'm wearing my jumper that i knitted my sleeveless vest and i've just got on a little oh quite a booby little booby crop top underneath and my new favorite trousers which have just come out of wash they are the linen petite trousers from next i'll leave a link to them down below because i made a video all about them and so many of you bought them have sent me messages saying that you love them as much as i do the shape is just so nice they're flattering they come in a couple of other colors as well so i may, might pick up a green and maybe a navy because it's just a, such a nice staple to have and i haven't ironed or steamed these and they're not too crinkled despite being linen so i'm happy about that i'm just gonna pack a bag and then we can get going i am gonna take with me some knitting stuff so i can knit on the train at my event a little bit early so i've come to mayor street market for a coffee and a little mooch this is one of my favorite places in london so i thought i'd show you around there's a florist in here selling beautiful bouquets and then there's a deli where you can get sandwich and pick up some fish tin fish and my favorite olives and um, they've got some such lovely stuff in here i absolutely love this deli Oh look, they've got the barbecue sauce that um, I showed in last week's vlog. Oh my god guys, look at all this tin fish. Oh my god, we're gonna, oh, octopus. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get some of these. Wow. I'm just freaking out, all the tinned fish here. It all looks so delicious, but oh my god, very expensive. £11.50 for some stuffed uh, octopus. Um, I'm gonna have to come back and get some of these to try. So there's also a record shop. And then a tattoo studio, a hair studio, and then a huge place that serves really good food. Oh, my God. 
such wholesome event. I, I'm not gonna lie, I am, I'm really bad at sewing. I think I'm just a little bit too haphazard with it. But it was so fun and I would love to learn how to do that properly, like make a garment because imagine being able to make whatever you wanted and then wear it, it's amazing. So I've got my skirt on. I chose this really cool polka dot. And I mean, I wouldn't wear it with a crop top like this. I'd wear it like with a t-shirt tucked in, folded over a little bit, or like a big baggy jumper. Here she is. So easy, it was just like four bits of rectangles that you sewed together and then like, so like here's one. Is that one? I can't even tell. Yeah, just a couple of rectangles sewed together and then like stitched. See my really bad stitching here? <laughs> I am not a pro but look we got to use like a zigzag stitch and then a normal um straight line stitch so yeah it was very fun i really recommend going to a sip and sew um and i think i'm gonna get so much wear out of my skirt i did it kind of like a mini skirt as well so it's not too long on me Hello from Portsmouth. I'm in Portsmouth. I got a train here at lunchtime today. Whoa, why is it so blue? I'm not sure what is going on with the lighting today. And it's a bit of a random reason I'm here, but basically for Christmas, my parents got me tickets to see one of my favorite ever songs live. I've definitely spoken about how much I love this song on Instagram, but it's called Nautilus and it's by a woman called Anna Meredith. Um, if you have watched the film Eighth Grade, the song is in that, in like a pool, in the pool party scene. Iconic film, by the way. And also this song was used in Punch Drunk's The Burnt City in a dance sequence that I absolutely love and was like my favorite part of the show. I never thought I'd get to see this song live, but I'm seeing it live tonight. So I've come down here by myself and I thought I'd have a nice solo date. And I thought I could film it as part of my solo date series. So I've got a travel lodge by myself for the evening. I've got family room, I've got three beds in here so I can swap around as I see fit. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. I haven't been to Portsmouth in quite a long time. Um, so I think I am going to, I've just checked in. I think I'm gonna have a little mooch around, see what's around, scope out somewhere to go for dinner before the gig tonight. This is so exciting. I've never been to a gig by myself before and I'll be like solo dining as well. So quite a little trip. I, I actually don't think I've been like away by myself. Wasn't work based, if that makes sense. Like I don't think I've ever been somewhere just by myself for the sake of it. Um, so yeah, it's a nice, a nice little treat. Excited, excited to be here and like, yeah, have a little adventure. I have been knitting on the train. Oh, let me show you my outfit actually, because I'm loving what I'm wearing today. Well, the lighting in here is not good. That vent noise is very loud. Um, I am wearing a brown t-shirt with my linen next trousers that I was wearing yesterday. Um, yeah, I love this t-shirt. I just think it's so flattering on my skin tone. The lighting's a little bit better in here, but here's my full outfit. So I've got my cake cap and then my leather jacket, which I got from Paris, 20 euros. One of my favorite secondhand purchases. It's so great and oversized and just so warm. Found a coffee shop with the most amazing looking donuts. I've got a Lucky Charm donut. an antique store and I'm looking I've just drawn myself to the cutlery and I'm trying to work out what this is is it a crochet hook of some sort or is it 
a bit of cutlery. Does anyone know what that is? It like seems to open. It's very interesting. And then this. What's this? What is that? Why do I want it? It's like one of those things that they put using the dentists to keep your mouth open. I'm loving all this random cutlery, man. Oh. I want everything. Look, I like this. This is this one's very nice. It's like a tea strainer, but a spoon, shell spoon. I'm yeah. I'm enjoying this. What's this? <gasps> cool screw. Hmm. Found a really cool kind of kind of like butterfly taxidermy area. I hope you can hear me. I feel like I could recreate this with my mudlarking stuff, right? Look at this. It's just like a deep shadow box. And it's got like little bits of old pottery and stuff in it. I could totally recreate that with my mudlarking stuff. And then they've got some butterflies. I really love that, but I don't know how much it is. Can you see that? So pretty. It's Saturday, I am back home in London and today we're going for a walk with our friend Mo. We've, we're doing a walk around Walthamstow, around the Walthamstow wetlands, which I'll show you because, I mean, it's such a nice day today, it should be quite, yeah, it should be quite a nice walk. But then we're going to take Mo to the Walthamstow Beer Mile, which is like this mile long stretch of... I don't even know what you'd call it, like retail parks, babe, what would you call it? Yeah, like a, a mile long industrial park full of breweries. And it, they like, they make all the beer there, it's really famous, but also you can go into the breweries and have a bed. So that is what we're gonna do today. Um, I've woken up with, some, like I feel like I'm hungover for some reason, even though I didn't drink yesterday, I've got a headache. And um, my hay fever is definitely starting at the moment, which is, so annoying. I am wearing today this mirror, even though you can't really even see this mirror. So I'm wearing a white t-shirt with my favourite jeans and my cardigan. Yeah, quite happy with this look. Got some binoculars so we can look at the birds. Okay, we're taking a little bit of a shortcut back to the industrial park so we can have some lunch but i'm walking past the king's mill factory and oh my god it smells like hot crust buns the air smells like hot crust buns it's so delicious this is so glamorous isn't it So we just had a beer, well I had a shandy and a burger at Big Penny and now we're going to Signature Brew. Yeah, they've got like a little outdoor balcony and bar um, and normally they have live music here as well, it's kind of cool. Oh, hello, hello. It's lunchtime. <laughs> um, I'm obsessed with this Instagram account, which is the Instagram account for the Bold Bean Company. You know, the, the company that make those juicy big beans. They were just in Dragon's Den. I haven't watched the episode yet, but they've been posting some really delicious, like, lunchy, salady, beanie recipes, and I bought all the ingredients to try one. So, it was a reel on their Instagram, but I found the recipe on their website, and it's a tuna and butter bean chopped salad. So I need to like chop up celery, onion, tuna, capers, butter beans. It's like a dressing with parsley and lemon juice, but I've got coriander and lemon juice instead. And also, sadly, we couldn't find their butter beans, which look like this. But we do have a tin of 
normal butter beans. So I'm gonna get all my ingredients out. Oh, we're also gonna be using this really fancy tuna that we picked up. Um, I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be delicious. Oh, yes, right, what you do, right, is um, you put all of your ingredients on the chopping board and then just chop it all up together, like mush it all up. So that's what we're going to do. Like, just chuck it on. Very excited about this fancy... How do I do this? Okay, ages would have been quicker just to right you just chop it all together and then put it in a dish and mix it with butter beans and then G's making a dressing this has taken all of like five minutes it's so quick if she is so we just added the dressing with coriander and looks great just going to eat this with some hummus and carrots and a little cracker let's give this a go Get a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Lovely bit of crunch from that celery. Mm -hmm. 